It's American Idol Chat. It's episode six. Wow. It is the final audition episode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's pretty crazy. I don't even know where we are because I feel like they've jumped around so much this season. I liked it back when they were like, okay, now we're in Atlanta for this whole show. They're changing it up. What is They're the messing point? With you. I don't know. Anyway, this is the final audition episode ever. Let's get started. Well, maybe. Jessica Cabral, right? Okay. 21 from Massachusetts. <laughs> Her parents were musicians. She is a worship music director. I feel like we've seen a lot of that. We've seen a lot of worship leaders. They are out in full force this season. Hey, it's the final last chance for romance. Yeah. You know how we always say, like, oh, this one's uniquely popular. This one this one was just regular. Regular good. Which is actually refreshing because yeah. I feel like pretty everybody much tries to be uniquely popular. Everyone has that like affected voice and it's all like Ugh. Yeah. But this was just like beautiful. Yes. The minority has now become the majority and the regular good is the minority now and it's like, oh wow, that's amazing. <laughs> okay. So it was a yes. All right, so Cody Ostrenga, he's from Texas. They were having a lot of fun with Cody because... He's a gun cowboy. He's like a three-time world champion at this. You're like riding around on this horse. You're 45 pew, pew, miles pew, pew. an hour. You got to shoot out 10 balloons to be like world champion, whatever. Yeah. I feel like I saw this somewhere else. Like Really? Not that long ago. I don't know. Maybe I just made that up in my head. <laughs> He's also a belly dancer. You saw it like 10 minutes ago. Yeah. He's a belly dancer. He did some J-Lo slash Shakira thing, which was kind of... With some pew, 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 yeah. pew. <laughs> yeah. It, it was a no. Yeah, I don't know. I Singing feel like... wasn't so good, but entertainment factor way up there. He had some potential in there. Like, he wasn't awful, but... I don't think he was focusing enough on the singing. There was also the dancing going on yeah. during it. Oh, no. But he's a world champion gun horse rider guy. Gun so, like, that's pretty cool. All right. Well, Brian Brown, 27. He's a cell phone salesman. I guess he's, like, living in a kiosk somewhere in a mall. Like, <laughs> I don't think so. so. <laughs> I think they go home. So um, he was there with his girlfriend, who is 15 years older than him. Boy toy. Can anybody say boy toy? <laughs> So, his claim to fame, other than attempting to sing, is doing Keith Urban impression, which, by the way, was pretty, pretty, pretty lame. I it feel like, like if you didn't know that that was Keith Urban, it would have no been like... no way a, you would have known. No, ever. it would have been a little bit, um, like, inappropriate out yeah. of context. Like, that could definitely be taken out of context. Yeah. <laughs> and, and then he paired that with his Scooby-Doo impression. No, Harry paired it with the Scooby-Doo. He did the Scooby-Doo separate, which was okay. <laughs> he sang, and he was so yelly. And when they were like, oh, yeah, that was really, like, out of control. But you can really sing. Yeah, I was like, wait, what's going on here? Who's drinking on the panel? I mean, he seems like a very nice guy. I don't mean to put him down, but I was really surprised that they put him through to Hollywood. Me too. Because usually if somebody messes up their audition like that and they go, like, totally off the wall... Yeah. They're the like, judges oh, are no. Like, no, you blew it. No. Sorry, you blew it. All right, but well... But no, they put him through, and I was like, what? <laughs> Gina Baez and Tinkerbell were up next. How cute was Tinkerbell? She was 27. I don't know how old Tinkerbell was, but she is a singing princess, which I'm... Assuming she's Sounds like, like some, parties and or maybe she's like some sort of Disney could be person or could something. Be. She was a little bit yelly. And they gave her a no. And she was just like, What? I was like, what? Okay, I'm not saying necessarily that she should have made it through, but I feel like if they put the guy before her through They should have put, put her through. Because she was not as yelly as he was. I don't know. I guess their argument is that she wasn't like different enough. She wanted to sing something else, and they were just like, um, no. No sad. means no. Just watching Tinkerbell have to walk out that door with a no, it was tough. That was the saddest part. I wanted to see Tinkerbell in Hollywood. All right, well, let's move on. Melanie Huber, 17. She beat cancer. You go, girl! Yeah. She was... I was hoping that she was good, and she was. She was naturally good. Yeah, I really liked her Not voice. Not just regular good, naturally good, which means she can't be anything but good. All right. <laughs> so I'm excited yes. to see her in Hollywood. 
Then they had a little montage, girl with grandpa, girl with brother, girl with dad. They were all uniquely popular. Remember back in yes. the day when like you weren't allowed to have a musical accompaniment? Oh man, that was the worst. Everybody was a cappella, and now it's like you can play for yourself, you can have the piano guy, you can bring someone to play for you. You can have a small group. <laughs> you could have a uh, tambourine on your foot. Times have changed. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty cool. I like that. All right, so then we got a little Kelly Clarkson montage because- Kelly Clarkson! Because she's Kelly Clarkson and she was the first winner. She's a really big deal. She's a huge deal. They had to build up for Justin Sullivan, 22 years old. He wanted to sing a Kelly song because he's a 13 year old girl who wears Mr. Clarkson on his clothing. Um, she's taken and she's got a kid and, and she's, she's got, got one another away. kid. <laughs> That's like so disrespectful in a way. I mean, if somebody's single, okay. But like if they're married, don't be walking around with Mr. Clarkson. I don't know, but it was pretty funny when Harry was like, well, I've got a surprise for you. And they're like playing the music, like she's gonna come out and sing with him or something. And then he's like, no, I don't, she's not she's here. She's not here. She's not here. Don't get excited. <laughs> so then him and Keith dragged that uh, big cardboard sign over and made him sing with it. Yeah. And it was so embarrassing because he was so pitchy. He's no Mr. Clarkson. No. It's a no. It was a no. All right, well, China Sherrod was up next, and she was, I can't believe she was only 16. I know. She's like, I'm from Connecticut. <laughs> yeah, and then I was really confused, because she was like, oh, Harry, I know you're from Connecticut. And I was like, wait, what? Harry is Mr. New Orleans. Maybe, like, he, what? maybe he has a house in Connecticut. I don't know. Maybe, right? Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. That, because I was like, what? I was very confused. But yeah, um, she played the guitar. She sang an Ariana Grande song. It was great. I love this girl. Yeah. I thought she was awesome. It was big. Yes. She was chill. She was controlled. Now, they showed Harry's birthday celebration. Earlier in the episode, uh, he was talking about how he and his daughter were thinking about getting like this little, King they you? called it like a finger monkey. Really? It was like tiny. I, I, I <laughs> thought it was like a kinkajou or something, mm -hmm. but um, that was a cute monkey and he they was brought it a party. tiny little piece of fruit. Did he get to keep that monkey or what? I hope so. Or was, was that just like for the party and then they were like, okay, Maybe they bought it the for monkey him. has to go home now. Maybe Sorry. they bought it for him. I don't know, but it was a cute little it was monkey. Crazy. His kid was like, yeah. Daddy, you got a monkey? All right. <laughs> <laughs> Lillian Glenton, farm girl from a poultry farm. That's a lot of chickens. 5,000 eggs a day. A day. That's a lot. All right. Um, she's 15. She sang an original song. Um, very, very heavy accent. Yeah. I, I could have gone either way on her and... I think she's got some really good songwriting skills, but I'm worried that her voice is not strong enough at this point. I think she could get there, but I don't know if this is her year. J-Lo was the deciding yes. I think this was one of those ones that was like, you know what, it's, it's the last, last season. Year. Yep. yep. <laughs> All right, Casey Haynes, 23. Uh, he's a, you know, he does gigs and stuff. He's kind of a like... A musician? Yeah. <laughs> He's also had a problem with the sweet stuff. He's a he's, former drug yeah. addict. But he's clean now. Yeah. I don't even know. Can you call him a drug addict or just like he used drugs? No, he's an addict. Because I feel like there's a difference. He was an addict. Okay. He sounded a lot like Nick Fradiani. Uh, to me, like, he sounded almost exactly like Nick Fradiani, and I'm really surprised they didn't mention him. Yeah. He was, uh, Harry was like, oh, Bon Jovi, oh, or... Bono? Yeah. I, I didn't like, hear that what? at all. He was like a carbon copy of Nick Fradiani vocally. So, of course, Nick Fradiani won last season, so Casey Haynes had to be a yes. He wasn't a unanimous yes, though. He there wasn't? There was a no in there. Who was the no? I feel like it was Keith. Oh, really? Yeah, I think Keith I said no. I thought he was a... No, I thought Keith okay. said no. Speaking of Keith, Mr. Guitar... There was, there was a montage of lots of bad guitar playing. I can imagine that would happen. Yeah. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. I mean, you're not there for your guitar playing. You're there for singing, so... Yeah. You gotta expect the guitar playing to be substandard. But then there are some really, really talented guitar players. Like Zach Percy. This guy was awesome. He's 18 years old. 
He was a phenomenal guitar player. I'm surprised Keith didn't run up there and like sign his guitar or something or ask this kid to sign his guitar. <laughs> can I sign your guitar? <laughs> It'd be kind of weird if you asked someone else if you can give them your signature. <laughs> I would just do it. All right. I well, want anyway. This guitar for me. I claim this guitar. Just like for come Keith. up behind them. <laughs> he was really fantastic. He I, was a great singer too. He was one of my favorites. And he of had the a night. different style. Which I enjoyed. Yeah. It was, how do you say, refreshing? Yeah, he was one of my favorites of the night. Yeah. Colette Lush, 19. She's a nanny from California. She's a nat natural redhead. She's All a right. Copper cab. And <laughs> ginger. Ginger ninja. <laughs> she had a really powerful voice. She did. And again, she's one of those ones that had just like a straight up good voice. She sings the way she speaks. She's so it wasn't that uniquely personality. popular. Yeah. Which, She's I feel fun. like we got a lot of that tonight, and I really yeah. am digging that. Well, it was a yes. Obviously. All right. Avalon Young, 21, server. Um, she's not a girly girl. She totally pulled out a Philip Phillips, and she's like, I'm going to wear what I want. It doesn't affect how I sound. Exactly. Boom. <laughs> so she had this... I wouldn't say she was straight up uniquely popular. She kind of sounded to me like a Lisa Loeb, but she looked like a Maybe Funke. Didn't she look like Maybe from Arrested Development? Kind of got yeah. some Maybe vibes there. Yeah. Well, it was a yes. So I'm excited to see more of her. Mm -hmm. And then was Usen Isong, 23 from Queens, represent. Yeah, he's a background extra. Amazing. He friggin' strutted in on those heels. That was awesome. I loved that. It was a big fat yes. Alright. <laughs> My neck is really itchy and it's red. Gee, okay. I'm sorry. Moving on. <laughs> Jackie Butler, 19, from Texas. This was an interesting story. Yeah. She's in it's a from, band. She's from Texas. Right. She's got green hair, which is fine. But she's got the, these other, like, green and black, like, skid marks on also her face. fine the thing that blew yeah. my mind was that her freaking band lives with her and her parents that didn't bother me at all in her parents house yeah her parents it must be saints seriously her, well that's why her mom has to live in the closet with the dog and the cat <sighs> it was a yeah she was pretty good she was pretty good all right stephanie negretti was it negretti or i believe it was negretti okay 21. She's from Mexico. I got a real Selena thing going on here. Okay. Very uh, self-indulgent, though. Oh Jayla my gosh. was not happy about that. She sang Who's Loving You, and I love that song. But it took three times as long as it should have taken. It did. It took way too <laughs> long, and she lost the melody for me. She if lost Simon the song. was there, he would have been like, that was really quite self-indulgent. Get out. <laughs> It was, though. It was. But you could see she she's could talented. Yeah. yeah. So it was a yes. It was a yes. Then, are you ready for this? The last audition of ever. American Idol ever, ever, ever. 20-year-old Manny Torres. All right. Just happens to be J-Lo's fourth husband. <laughs> He's Puerto Rican. So J-Lo's like, yeah. She immediately was like, All right. I say yes to your package. Well, he had some hip movements in there. He was strategic about it. Uh, he's another worship leader. Mm. Eyes up here, J-Lo. He was very talented. He sang that Maroon 5 song. That was It was really good. It he was, was good. really good. But J-Lo was pretty quick on that trigger. <laughs> the minute she walked in, she was like, are you Puerto Rican? Well, then it's a yes from me. Oh, she was joking. I know. <laughs> All right. So that's it for auditions. What? How exciting is that? Next week they're going to be in Hollywood. Hollyweird. I can't wait for the group rounds. I, I know. Love that. That's our favorite. Let us know what you guys thought in the comments. Who was your favorite? And until next time, much, much love. love. Edit. Edit.